Hello everyone, uh, this is my Citroen C3 uh, 2006 model. Uh, as you can see, this is the car stereo. It's, it works and it only has the radio and discs, something like that for playing discs, DVD and CDs. It has a Bluetooth, as you can see, this is telephone. This is configuration, consulting pairings, and you can actually pair your phone to it this is my phone that i have galaxy album tabunus galaxy that i have paired to it before but the problem is i can't play music through it so i went online to find out how i can make the phone the car stereo um, play my songs so the alternative was to change the stereo get a new car a new car stereo and remove this one but I didn't want to do that because I actually like the way the stereo is, everything is. And I don't want to be changing anything. I just wanted to use it the way it came. So I went online, did more searching, and I found that I can actually connect a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth module to it. And it will, I can use, I can connect my phone to it and play music. So I bought this Bluetooth module on AliExpress. It's just a tiny piece of electronic. Um actually cost me about seven euro uh, and uh, it just has a power cable black and red cable and an auxiliary uh, connector which is where the uh, sound comes out from so what I'm going to do now I'm going to remove the um, the stereo I've already seen the connection and schematics and how to connect everything so I'm just gonna go straight to it and remove the, the cable well on <coughs> On the AliExpress site, they came. They knew that we would need some way to remove the um, the stereo, so they put an option of buying these pins with it. So I don't want to go stressing myself looking for a way to remove this. So I told them to add this to it. So once it's inserted, all I just have to do is pull, and I can remove it directly. I can remove it directly. To remove the down part as well. We have to remove the down part as well because it looks like they are connected somehow. Then, okay, this is out, and this is also out. As you can see, the stereo is out. I have to go remove the antenna from the back. Okay, it's out and I have to remove this connector as well. The connector as well from the back. I pull this little pin. I pull this this pin here. Let me, let me put this first. yeah it's out okay this is the stereo i actually like it i don't want to change it i could have as well just removed this and bought a new one and installed it there but i like the way this one is and apart from just liking the way it is i'm the type of guy that i like i like to tinker i like to play with things now that it's my own i can just touch it anyhow i want if it gets poet it gets poet i can also replace it so it's fun for me so i like doing stuff like this so i'm going to remove this ah, come on okay this is out uh, I don't know why they actually put this on this um, on this car, but you know those days you need this uh, multiple loaders. You don't need to be changing still, so you need something that will be changing it for you. This was like 2005, 2006, 2004. You know, car loaders, three loaders, five loaders. This is actually a five loader, so I don't need this anymore. All my music are in my are in my are in my MP3 in my memory card right now. I can just play them from my phone. So. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this is what my money can get me right now. Now I'm going to connect. Like as you can see here, I tried to do this before to connect it before. So I actually figured it out where the uh, blue and red power goes into, and this was actually it. I figured it out. It worked, but 
once I connected it, I played the music. It wasn't go the sound wasn't coming out. So I find I tried to look for the solution why it wasn't, and I realized that I had to select the I needed to select the source like change the input of the change the the tell the this the, the the stereo that there was an other there was another input you know if you go to if you press this this is the only the on button and once you press this source it either switches from either um it switches from um the fm to the disc to the cd player so if there were another input if you keep pressing this source it's supposed to take you to bluetooth or another input like auxiliary input, Bluetooth input, another type of auxiliary input. But as I pressed it, nothing showed. So I found the information on the internet that I needed to tell this the, the car inf uh, software that there is another input. I had to activate it. So that led me to buying another cable on AliExpress, which is the um, Lexia cable, which is the Lexia cable. This is it, the Lexia cable. Everything on AliExpress. This one cost about thirty euro. The Bluetooth cable about seven euro, like that. So I bought it, and I needed um, I needed to also download the software. Unfortunately for me, many many challenges along the way trying to do this. Well, it sounds fun for me, but along the way. I discovered that I can't actually install the, as you can see, this is AliExpress, this is AliExpress, I bought it online, this is the uh, Lexia cable and this is the Bluetooth cable. You can see the price here, 7 euro, 39 euro. So I actually discovered that I can't, I can't use the, 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 the diagnostics uh, software on my windows <coughs> on my windows 10 i can't use the diagnostic uh, uh, software on my windows 10 i needed a windows 7 or below so i still googled more and found out that i can still use it on my i can still use it on my on my windows 10 but using a another virtual uh, system another virtual workstation so i went and downloaded vmware workstation for this jackbox and finally i did it it's working this is like this virtual this virtual system is actually running on windows 7 right now but this is normal this is windows 8 uh this is windows this frame here now is windows 7 it's actually running on windows 7 as you can see the whole setup of everything is windows 7 so this is windows 7 i'm running windows 7 so that i can run the jack box the jack box uh software which is this one on it because as you can see it's not working on my windows 10 so i did that now it, uh, it's time to connect the bluetooth okay i've connected it I've connected it. And this is it. It's actually working. As you can see, it's blinking. There's a blue light coming out from it. There's a blue light coming out from it. It's actually blinking. So I'm going to connect it now. As you can see, it's working, it's blinking, it's blinking. If I go to add Bluetooth here and I search for it, you will discover that other devices add Bluetooth. If I search, you will see this is it J Rui BT59. That is the Bluetooth for the, for the, this is the Bluetooth. connecting as you can see it's connected showing audio but when I click source it shows nothing it's working 
when I click source, it's supposed to go to that Bluetooth, but nothing shows. Nothing shows. So 